Here we see Novak Djokovic growing up, learning the game. And here's the story of how he needed help. And he found the Nelson Quantum Biofeedback System to turn around his career and become the greatest of all time. You know, I've, I've experienced prior to 2010 Australian Open many struggles on the court, respiratory problems, uh, inability to cope with the heat, endurance issues, even though I was training hard. I was feeling that I'm losing that kind of uh, fuel in my tank. No matter what you tried, I believe at the time, whether that's lifting weights, biking for hours, changing coaches, I think you underwent nasal surgery to improve breathing. Fast forward to the 2010 Australian Open, which I think was one of the lowest points of your career at the time. I was feeling weaker and then all of a sudden the, the, the vision, um, you know, became different. I didn't see the court as wide as it was at the beginning of the match. And, uh, you know, I had blurred vision. I, uh, you know, I couldn't catch breath after, um, after each point was finished. And Did you have any physical issues going into this match or were there things that crept up during the match? Yeah, just couple of things but nothing major really I don't I don't want to talk about that does it match maybe also summarize you know the way of coming back how difficult it is to actually come back on the level you want so many ups and downs. Well, it is difficult many things in life are difficult between fourth and fifth set I went out to to throw up and um, felt my stomach was was aching I felt my you know energy was so low and I was just my nose was blocked and there was plenty of things going on and that was not the first time uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I, I really don't know. I just came from the court. I, I don't know. Sorry, guys. I cannot give you that answer. I don't know. I cannot give you any answer. So. Something inside was holding Novak back. He could not reach his true potential. Tell me about a doctor that was watching that tournament on television that changed everything for you. Yes, his name is uh, Igor Tretojevic and um, for some reason, I, in Australia in particular, I was always struggling very early in my career with uh, respiratory issues, uh, uh, kind of mild uh, version of asthma and uh, uh, just suffocation during the night uh, for many years since I was seven years old. And for some reason, you know, as the time was passing by, all these allergies were gaining more I guess intensity uh, in terms of the reaction. I, I felt that it was just getting stronger and stronger. And uh, the place where I felt it the most was always a tennis court. And that's where you know emotions kick in, expectations, pressure. And when you mix it all together, you get formula that is causing you to uh, to really experiencing experience some some major health problems and issues on the court and. And because of it, I, I was retiring matches, and I was. Uh, uh, it took me a lot of time to recover. So, uh, Dr. Igor uh, reached out to uh, people that uh, <coughs> we have some friends in common. Igor had been working with me for many, many years, working with our quantum biofeedback systems, and taking our courses, learning the material. He was a presenter in many of our congresses where he presented detail about using the machine in an acupuncture way. He did several videos for us to help train people. My name is Dr. Igor Tretovic. I am educator on postgraduate study organized by Ski International in collaboration with University of Temeshwar Faculty of Medicine. He got his license. He got his license in using our technology, using the SKIO technology. And he came to me and he said that Novak had contacted him, but what could we do? So I worked with him real hard. We developed a system to try to help Novak. We helped to perfect our system for sports analysis. And then he went back to visit so then I met Dr. Igor Chetovic and he has actually watched that match in Australian Open earlier that year and he felt the need to, to get in touch with me and to help me out. 
and um, he received the data that I have a great sensitivity on gluten, no celiac disease, but great sensitivity intolerance to gluten, to dairy products, and, and obvious to refined sugar. Here's a copy of the allergy report from our machine that had shown his allergies and sensitivities. In order to get him to peak performance, we had to deal with this, especially gluten. And we used our device and our technology to help to address Novak's problems. And, you know, when I met him, I, I did a couple of sessions and I, and I, and I um, you know, felt really a big difference. Um, that's, that was the first time that I got introduced to the quantum, uh, quantum physics, to the quantum field world, to the biofeedback. He had uh, uh, all this analysis and overview of, of my emotional body, of my mental body, of my physical body, on all the food allergies and everything that I was experiencing. Our quantum biofeedback technology is going to measure the body electric. And when we find different aberrations in the body electric, heartbeat, voltage, amperage, resistance, your pH pressure, when we find out these little things that are wrong, we can fix them electrically. A type of system where we can scan the body and find out little problems, little electrical energetic aberrations. And with gentle electrical stimulation, fix them. And it was using this that we were able to find Novak's sensitivities and to help get him to maximum performance. And so we started slowly uh, taking off layer by layer and really going uh, going deep into um, into things that are related to my health and trying to understand what is the core of it. So, of course, diet was one of the most integral uh, part of the problem, and and changing the diet was. Uh, something that allowed me to um, get rid of the allergies and everything, particularly gluten and dairy that I removed from my diet um, and refined sugar. And um, so it was, a, it was a change, but I was very determined because I, I could feel instantly, right, after the first session, second session with him, I could, I could sense that there is an improvement. Um, I didn't understand that there is this nutrition part that was blocking me in a way because I wasn't eating correctly, even though I thought that I was. Skio helped Novak to fix his nagging injuries and helped him a lot with his diet. The amazing Skio biofeedback technology also helped Novak with flexibility, with his strength and the mental abilities. From the culture where we're based a lot on the gluten which is in the wheat and we have bakeries in each corner so I, I had breads and different bread baskets each day even with, uh, eating pizza and I would have a little bread on the side. Dr. Igor and the quantum biofeedback technology have Novak to increase his nutrition and lifestyle and to get to the maximum performance. And uh, also a lot of, a lot of meat and and sugar, you know, um, refined sugar. I didn't know that, that that would cause, all of these things would cause that kind of, uh, you know, uh, feeling of, of being helpless. I was actually start, start, you know, starting to um, get rid of the red meat as well, because I felt like I had also, um, I had to put a lot of energy and effort uh, into digestive process to, to digest the, the meat so, and, and that would take a lot of essential energy that I need for, you know, for my focus, for the recovery, for the next training session or for the next match. That, that was the, 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 the initial point of the journey that got me to the point where I am at the moment where I'm eating plant-based, you know, where I'm not eating any animal products. So it's a really interesting journey that started when, when you mentioned in 2010. Would you Dr. Igor and the quantum biofeedback technology turned around Novak's career. He just exploded. Where Wimbledon has a new men's tennis champion. Novak Djokovic overcame Rafael Nadal in four sets to take his first title at the All England Club. Djokovic has been winning all year and it seems winning breeds a winning confidence. His performance that of a cutting edge athlete with an extraordinary ability to cover distances across the court at speed. 
He had the belief and the strength to soak up whatever the defending champion sent down the lines. Down a set in three games, Nadal urgently needed to get on the scoreboard. And finally, fortune smiled, albeit momentarily, because despite some wonderful athleticism from Nadal, Djokovic took the next two games for the set. Watching, you had to remind yourself that Nadal is no ordinary player, the winner of ten Grand Slams and a champion at two of the last three Wimbledon tournaments. But here he was, being humbled by a magnificent Djokovic, a man who's never been in a Wimbledon final before. He did to hold serve, which he duly did after some resistance from the Spaniard. But after stunning tennis from the force that is Novak Djokovic, Wimbledon had a new champion. The sweet taste of success as applause from family, friends and even the Serbian president rang out around Wimbledon's centre court. After Wimbledon and an incredible season of incredible performance, then it was time for me, Desiree Dubonnet, for me to go to Monaco. Here I am in Monaco. And for me to work with Novak directly. I started working with him and teaching him how to use the skio. I taught him alternative nostril breathing, how to get into focus by balancing himself with cross crawl techniques, alternative nostril breathing how to become his own doctor on the court. And then what happened in Australia. We saw you breathing a lot through your nose and you were trying to go in through your nose. Was, is that a technique you use to slow your heart down or is it something else? Because I couldn't figure it out. I mean, as far as I know, the human's su supposed to breathe in through the nose and breathe out. I, I also taught Novak about the warrior AccuSpot over here and how pressing on this spot could activate warrior energies in the brain that could help bring out his best. So I taught him a number of different things and we used the machine and I taught him how to use the machine. Now next what you're going to hear is Novak's voice as I teach him how to use the device. Make sure that that's clicked, it should always be clicked. That means that the computer will uh, look for peak performance, not sickness. If you are really sick, if you have a fever, flu or something, you want to click that off. Because okay. now it looks for diseases. Okay, okay. You see, when okay. you click on here, then it looks more for a peak performance. Performance, okay. The default setting on you will be top class at athlete. But if you are sick and you want to do treatment, if you're injured, etc., then you click that off. All right. Uh, oh. Is it is the computer following the mouse as well? Or? Yes, or uh, we're making a picture of it. Oh, okay, all right. And I'm sorry I hit the button. I hit no, the no, button. no worries. Okay, no worries. here we go to close now. Novak broke his racket on the winning point in Miami Masters, and he sent me the racket as a thank you, and signed it to me, Desiree Dubonnet, the angel. You eat in an average day today. Uh, well, I, I start off always um, when, I, when I rise from the bed, I, I start with uh, warm water and lemon so I can help my body detoxify. Um, and then I, I would have uh, celery juice on an empty stomach and then I would make a break and then I would have my, my smoothie, um, green smoothie with different algae um, and, and, and different fruits and uh, superfoods, um, great supplements that I use that uh, allow me to have mental clarity, you know, feeling good, uh, longevity, I guess, and, 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 and different benefits on, on health. And I eat a lot of fruits um, for the first part of the day, uh, salads. Um, I don't like to eat um, any food that would uh, require much of a uh, much energy for digestion especially in the first part of the day because that's when I need the most energy for my training so I'm keeping things quite light and here is Novak number one in the world some feel he is the greatest of all time how did he get here how what is his secret this machine has an awful lot to do with it plus nutrition plus lifestyle health eating and this Fantastic quantum biofeedback technology is the magic key. There to help focus. Now here we are in Australia. Novak is a hero. 
he denies the vaccination because he owns his body, his mind, it and his health. health. So here we are right, with that incredible technology, technology of the future, this fantastic sport technology that is actually licensed to help make you better, make you faster and stronger, and yet we have nobody with a license. We have very, very few people who are licensed and trained to use it properly. Rita has a license. Oh, yeah, I'm so glad that I made it. I feel so much more educated. I feel so much more complete that I really love what I do, and I do what I love. Having this immune, internationally accredited license on the wall makes a big, giant difference in your own education, your skills, and also with inside your own motivation. You can help yourself and others a lot more if you are educated and licensed. We got to get our industry together. We got to get behind the license. And all of you people recognize the incredible, incredible, incredible opportunities. Become a professional in sport to help people if you get a license. Sign up today. Contact me. Feel free to ask for any support for mentoring, learning, online education, personal or group trainings as well.